what would it be like if you woke up and looked in the mirror and felt so satisfied with the eyes that were staring back at you? As if you finally remembered how to step fully into your power and fully into who you want to be and what you're put here to do. And as a successful woman, you can really live in that passionate fire you have for your corporate path or that business that you've created. What would that be like? So if that sounds good, then hi, my name is Jen, founder and owner of Laughing Lotus Wellness and purpose coach and expert. And what I do is work with women to create transformation just so that you can wake up and have that experience. We want to love who we see in the mirror. And I know as a clinical social worker for so many years that this is a serious issue for so many of us. When you decide to work with me, what we do is we go in and we make sure that we're understanding how you got where you are, where you want to go, and how we're going to get you there. And we're going to reignite that fire, but also connect that idea of success and purpose together once again, either in the lane you're working in or shifting a little bit outside of that to do something new, which is exactly what I did. Either way, we're going to get you back on that path. So I want to talk about this idea of understanding the concept of reflecting both inward and outward and the value of understanding that we're a reflection of our lives. And so if we're looking in the mirror and we're seeing something that's so unsatisfying, we just wanna take a look at that. It isn't about being unkind or mean to ourselves or lacking compassion. Actually, it's the opposite. It's like stepping into loving yourself enough to reflect and bring awareness about what it actually means for your journey and where you're at. You know, I'm thinking of the story back in the time before I finally shifted gears, before I, I changed my own lane. And I think back now and I think what it must have been like for my family that I wasn't really happy anymore. I was super stressed and strained. I didn't take joy in being in my work like I one time did. I felt strung out, exhausted, and kind of on that treadmill. You know what I'm talking about, right? The hamster wheel, <laughs> right? And I don't think I was very vital. And so I think about what their journey must have been like to be on the other side of me while I was unraveling and figuring out that I had gotten off course. And so, and that's not with lacking compassion, right? When I look back, I understand I was doing the best I could. I had all sorts of ideas and belief systems that got in my way and kept me where I was. So I understand how I did that. And it must have been hard for them, right? And so had I, had I slowed down enough to look, and you know what a pivotal moment was for me? A pivotal moment was when a client said to me, literally across the couch, um, she said, you know, I, is everything okay? And I said, yeah, of course. Yeah. Why? And she said, you don't laugh as much anymore. And I literally knew in that very moment, she was right. One, she was right. And two, I had lost sight of it. And that was such a huge value set of mine that I knew in that moment how far out of my lane I was feeling, how far out of my purpose, okay? And so I want you to be thinking about this. Again, that's not lacking compassion. You, we do what we can do, friends, right? We want to be kind to ourselves. But I really want you to think, if we're mirrors of where we are in our journey, what are you seeing when you look in one? Are you seeing empowerment, excitement, enthusiasm, creativity, and fire, and passion, and purpose? Are you seeing all this good stuff? Or when you look in those eyes of you, are you seeing sadness and lacking fulfillment, exhaustion, fatigue, defeat, disappointment, right? So I want you to take a moment to really take this time, okay? Really, truly, either get in a mirror. I know, sounds weird. Go, go look at a mirror. Truly, I would. Or sit down and do a writing exercise. Sit with a friend and talk it out. Where are you? What are you a reflection of? And what does that mean? We look at inward and outward reflection, right? So we both reflect inward for experience and we also reflect it out. So it's inward and outward, right? So whatever I've got going on in here is gonna come out this way. That's, it's inevitable. 
So I can either be intentional about it, it's going to come out sideways. You know what I'm talking about? Extra glasses of wine to sleep at night, right? Extra excuses for why you're not going to go into work for the next day, right? All the reasons. Okay, everybody's been there. Sideways shit, right? Maybe we're extra agitated and irritable, quick to be angry with our family, right? Not showing up and isolating from our friendships. I mean, there's a million ways this shows up, right? I want to watch for that. And what I want you to do is see the gift of reflection. It's insight. The gift of reflection is insight. And if I'm functioning from a place of lacking insight, I'm on that wheel. And sometimes we need those wake-up calls. A family member or friend to go, oh, I haven't seen you in a minute. Is it all good? Or gosh, you know, it seems like every single time we get together and talk, you for 45 minutes talk about how much you hate where you are in your business. You're lacking enthusiasm. You're lacking fire. Right? Or you stopped laughing. We need those moments where someone can sit with us or we can sit with ourselves and have that insight. And it's a teacher. And that is the gift. The gift of reflection is insight. And I want you to invite that in this season, right? Spend some time with yourself. Imagine how you are in here and what it looks like out here. Okay. Now, if that was helpful, I want to invite you over to my website where I host all my vlogs. You can go check out all the content material there. And that's at laughinglotuswellness.com. Again, that's laughinglotuswellness.com. And go check out all of my materials there I have. Would love to see you peruse that and see if anything is helpful and useful to kind of get you moving in a direction. And so practice this insight stuff for me, would you? Would you give yourself the honor of spending some time and sitting in the quiet to figure out exactly where you are? Or to use a reflection of a friend or family member to kind of sit and like, where, are, where am I? How am I doing? How am I feeling? It's going to be really profoundly important to your journey in purpose to check yourself from time to time. I do it more routinely now after my uh, hard earned lesson. Um, and so I want to invite you to that same wisdom. Okay. All right, guys, this is Jen. Until next time, blessings, love and light. And I am here to support you on your path to purpose.